How you guys doing, man? It's young Socrates. I want you guys to be careful, man, these days with these false prophets on Instagram and on social media, on YouTube. They don't want to put the power in God's hands. They don't want to thank the Lord, God, for everything that's being that's created. The Lord is responsible for the trees, for all of this good, all of these blessings. The Lord is responsible for it. The, you gotta, they don't put the power in the Creator's hands. They put the power in the things that were created. They'll go and say, you should be worshiping yourself. Go within. They'll just use these big words to catch your attention and make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. But they will not give responsibility to the Creator God. I almost made these mistakes. On my spiritual walk, on my spiritual journey, I... I met a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? I went through a lot of people, even in social media, that are talking about going within, meditation and all this stuff, and not talking about God, not talking about Jesus Christ, not using the scriptures, not, you know, the Bible has a way to live in every way, from, from, from your diet, the way to think, the way to treat people, the way to talk, the way to move, wisdom, it has everything. And people want to rebuke the Bible, you know, and make up their, they want to talk about options. They, like, like there's so many options to live by these days. Like there's so many options to, in religion and in so many ways. There's only one narrow path to the creator. There's only one path to following God. And it's a narrow one and many people won't make it. The Bible says, you know, it's a narrow path and the broad path leads to damnation. You understand? The broad path taken leads to damnation. The, the broad path is when you see all these people, you know, showing you all these options and what to follow spiritually. No, there's only one thing to follow, and that is God. That's the Bible. Reading the scriptures, getting known with the Bible, you know, getting known with the Lord. Now, I'm not perfect, but the Bible has ever. The Bible doesn't talk about even like with alcohol, right? It doesn't talk about anything bad about alcohol in the Bible. It's a spiritual warfare going on these days and I want people to be prepared you know to walk the narrow path you know the the good finish last in this world but the last will finish first in the next God is trying to teach us that the last will finish first so don't believe what you see do right by God and God will do right by you you know you might be getting screwed over in some way but God always pays back the righteous God always pays back the people that are doing right by God. You suffer with God, you be delivered by God. God tells you to suffer with Him, and then you will be promised eternal life. You know? God always sticks with you even, you, if, even if you don't stick with Him. Yes, God created the light and the darkness, but it doesn't mean that these, these evil, you know, fallen angels as they call them and all that, they were not created to do all this bad. They were created to test our, our spirit. But you know, things went and got out of hand. You know, it started from the beginning with Cain and Abel. Cain was told they, they were both tested to bring, um, to bring their most best sacrifice to the Lord. Um, Cain brought, um, Cain brought, you know, his most poached no, Cain brought vegetables. The Lord didn't see that as really, uh, really something um, valuable. Didn't respect it. And Abel brought, brought um, his most poached um, sheep. You know, and that, and then Abel ended, and then Cain ended up killing Abel. And that's when we were born into sin. Those were Adam and Eve's kids. And that's when um, the sin began for man. That's where we were. Um, you know. That's when everything changed in the world where we would have to suffer because of that. You know, God gave us the freedom of choice and the freedom to reason. So that's why these things happen. That's why, you know, the world is where it's at right now with all the evil. And I'm on my spiritual journey. I'm still, you know, reading the Bible. I'm still doing my best to uh, let the people know what to do. I've been through everything and God always stuck with me. That's all I want people to know that I've been through a lot of things. And who one person that, one thing that always stuck with me was God. You know, there's gonna be a lot of temptation. 
It's going to, you know, a lot of things you're going to see that are going to be difficult. Right now, it's difficult for me to be speaking to a camera. That's why things aren't coming out clearly, but bear with me, people. I'm still trying to help you guys. I'm still trying to help the chosen to stay away and be led away from, from evil. Just like it says, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And God will always deliver you from the evil one and lead you not into temptation. If you give your power to God, leave your problems unto the Lord. And the Lord will give you the answers at the right time. We need to stop, you know, you, you see what spiritual, whatever said that spiritual soul, you got to be worshiping yourself? No. You need to worship the Lord Jesus Christ, God. And Jesus Christ is the son of God. He's not God. God is God, the creator of everything, the creator of Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ was put down here as the Messiah to teach us the word. To, to show us that we're like God. He came in our form to show us that we can, we can, so we can relate. Yes. You understand? There's going to be a lot of false prophets. When you pick the Broadway, all these spiritual teachers, sad guru, spiritual soul, Ralph Smart, that's the broad path. That leadeth to damnation. The narrow path leads to salvation. Yes. I've always been a believer in Jesus Christ as the Savior. Sorry, people. And in God, you know? And I'm doing my best. At least I'm trying every day, you know? At least I'm telling the people to not give up. At least I'm saying you got to give up on your on your uh, your evil doings now, on your temptations now. You need to get, deliver everything onto the Lord. It's a hard battle, but we got to fight it. Give up all the BS and all the stupid shit that you're doing and give it up to the Lord. Give up all the temptations and all your evil doings onto the Lord and he will do right by you if you do right by him. Just hold up your end. Read the scriptures and they will always, they will always lead you on the right path. We must read the scriptures. We must stay on the path to the righteous. You got to be righteous in everything you do in life. Do right. Read the Bible. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. As long as you know that you're doing what's right for yourself, your family, doing right by God, you will be saved. You will be delivered in the end. You know, the only thing that I fear is God. I fear that I, I, didn't, I didn't meet up to his expectations. That's all I fear. That I'm not, the thing I fear is being the person that I never ever imagined to be. Like the people that always treated me badly, the people that did wrong by me, I'm scared of ever turning into them. This life taught me that I went through all these things that was persecuted so much because I wasn't like the persecutors, that I'm something special, I'm something good, divine and pure compared to all these other bad people around me that persecuted me, that treated me badly. I was always on time to work, but I was always the last to be treated I was always treated badly. I was always the nicest. I was always nice. I always was good-hearted, good genuine to everybody around me. But I was treated the worst by, by, by uh, my boss and by people. The person that would treat people the worst, treat customers the worst, not try as much, but have a good relationship with and be a gossiper with the manager would be the one that would move up. And I would be the one that would be last. I was always the one that finished last. But the person, people that finished last in this world will be the ones that are ruling in the next. This life is only to prepare you for the next one. God is doing just gave this life to teach you, prepare you, coach you for the next life. That's all this life is about. That's why it's a short experience. It's given to us to prepare us for the next, not to worship uh, worldly possessions. The worldly knowledge, God doesn't care about worldly knowledge. That you can't bring that onto the next life. That's what the devil cares about. Worldly possessions, material possessions, those are, those are evil, man. Those you cannot bring to the next life. You need to be attached to nothing in this world and open to open to God's power and attached to nothing here. All people care, a lot of people just care about worldly possession. You can't bring that with you to the grave. You can't bring that with you to the grave. The ego, all that stuff, the false self, it's all 
Satan. Read the scriptures and they shall deliver you unto the Lord. I'll be back. I love y'all. Take care.